Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to give everybody just a minute to get on. And I'm going to put on my trusty headband. So when you're here, drop a comment, say hello. Hopefully, if you're watching via Facebook, you are, um, you've already given permission for Scipio. Otherwise, it won't tell me who's commenting. It'll just say commenter. So welcome to the Color Live workshop. Let me just like, I'm going to tilt this just a hair and make sure that I, I got everybody in the right view. I had this right. So welcome. My name is Julie. I'm excited to be with you. I got my cute little fuzzy headband on. I'll tell you how you can get one of these for free a little bit later. And um, we're going to jump in and get started. But we'll give everybody just a second to get on. So, hey, Chrissy, good to see you. I know you're like my skincare lover, but we're going to be doing color today. Um, and while you're waiting, go ahead, if you would, and um, if you're doing this with me, I'm going to actually be putting it on. That's why my face is naked I'm with you. And so I just want to throw this in this little pocket here. And um, if you um, filled out the request form, you've gotten a little sheet of samples in here. Sorry, guys, I've got to figure out where my camera is. So I'm doing this through StreamYard. So it's a little bit different. But um, so there's all these different sample colors on here. And on the back, you'll have another sample, um, possibly a foundation primer and a CC cream. So just grab those, have those handy. And um, maybe a pen and paper to take notes. Hello, hello. So glad you're here. Now, if you're commenting and you're watching via Facebook, make sure you click the link that gives you StreamYard permission to display your name so I'll know who's actually making the comments Um, because I do love to refer to you by name, but I can't see it. So glad y'all are here. Okay, well, we're um, we're just going to jump in and actually, um, Tina, if you are on, if you could just drop a comment, say hello so that I know that you can see everything. And um, if you're watching from YouTube, welcome. So, uh, oh. I love the warm weather. Is everybody just excited about warm? I am so excited about warm. <laughs> and so I have a couple of notes here and then we're going to, this is all about color. So hopefully, um, hi Paula. So glad you're here. Um, so hopefully you've already experienced Mary Kay skincare and because we have multiple consultants and my good friend, Tina Parkin, she is watching as well and she'll be doing our next color workshop. So, um, it's always fun to learn different techniques from different people. Um, <clears throat> just want to make sure that you know that um, we're excited to share with you. If you have questions, you'll be able to ask your consultants. And um, and so, all right. Okay, so the look that I'm going to be doing tonight, if it helps, um, if you got your summer lookbook from your customer, or if you're new, don't worry. Well, she can get you one. Um, and it's going to be this one right, oops, right, nope, right here. <laughs> You ever tried to do things in the mirror? And so it's um, it's called Shimmer All Summer. And I've actually had some fun with this look because it's also um, really easy. You can wear it for the spring. So I've enjoyed that as well. Okay, so we're going to jump right in. I'm going to show you some of my favorite products. I have already washed my face so with um, the, my favorite customized Mary Kay skincare collection. So it fits me. I've got my moisturizer on. My eye cream is on. And um, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually use foundation primer. So if you've never used foundation primer, or maybe you're a foundation hater, this is going to be the thing you want. Um, hi, Colleen. Hi, Dina. Or Deanna. So glad to see you. Um, so I'm going to use a foundation primer. If you've got the sample packet, there should be one uh, taped to the back of yours. I know my clients did. And I put about that much, oops, about that much on my fingers and it comes like this my tube lasts me about i don't know about five four or five months love foundation primer i actually don't like wearing foundation without it because you know what this stuff does it covers imperfections it keeps your makeup on so it acts like velcro keeps redness from bleeding through the face the other thing i love about it is that when you use foundation primer you use less foundation so you never get that cakey feel and for my oily um skin Type girls, you're going to love the fact that you get that extra oil absorption in there. Okay, so I just put that all over. You can use a brush if you like. I just usually like to use my fingers. It feels velvety soft. And um, 
I'm going to get my face prepped for, we're going to start with the eyes. So I always put my foundation primer on first, and then I'm going to use one of the lip balms from the new um, collection. You get two lip balms with this for 16 and um, they're just the funnest flavors. <clears throat> You've got one in, let's see, sweet berry and um, another one in, I'm looking for the name. Well, it doesn't matter. They smell good. So, but I always like to put lip balm on my lips. And so, oh, I'm so glad you love foundation primer, right, Tina? It's like the balm. So I put this on my lips with my foundation primer because my lips are the things I do last. But I only put, I literally only have to put lip balm on. Thank you, Tina. Tropical guava. Love it. So you, I only have to put the lip balm on once a day. But if I put it on at this, at this stage of the game, then what happens is um, it soaks into my lips. And by the time I'm ready for lipstick, my lips are really moist and ready to go. And, it, and they've absorbed everything. Okay. So one of the products, and I'm just going to kind of take y'all through what, how I do this look. And I'll give you a couple tips and tricks along the way. I love eye primer or excuse me, my, eye, my version of eye primer is the, the concealers. So what I do because they're dry, I feel like the color adheres to it really well. So I just put a little bit of color on both lids. And then I also love under eye corrector. If you have dark spots and you know, even with our Mary Kay, I, I, um, I, I creams. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot talk today. It's so hard. Um, <laughs> oh, the sweet berry is really good, right? Chrissy, it smells good. Um, I have a little bit of shadow cause our eyes sit back in our face. And so I love the under eye corrector. So I know I look funny, right? So I put both these products on and I love this new brush. Did you, I hope you guys have gotten one of these. You get one of these free with foundation. I'm going to show you that in a minute, but I'm just going to use the brush to kind of pat. I'm just spreading it around. I don't necessarily need it to be all blended in because I haven't done the rest of the foundation on my face yet. But you'll see why I do it this way. Um, if you do foundation after you've done your eyes, if you have any fallout, it makes it much easier to make it look cleaner. So, and now my eyes are primed. They're going to grab the color. All right. Now, if you're doing this with me, um, we have four different eyeshadows that we're using. Those are the first four. And then we've also got the cheek colors. So the colors are frozen iris, which is a soft purple, got a little bit of a shimmer to it. And then we have, um, Dusty Rose and Sunlit Rose. Yes. And then Crystalline. And so, and then I'm going to show you how to contour and stuff with the blush and using one of our blushes like a bronzer. Um, so what I'm going to be using is also to apply these things with, because it's, you can use sponges and things like that, but ladies, there nothing beats our brush set. So it comes with all the brushes that you need. You get four or three eyeshadow brushes. Um, with these, I'm going to be using these tonight. So I'll tell you which ones I'm doing. And then I also use a blending brush. This one you can get separately. Um, what's really great. My blending brush is dirty. Let me show you how easy it is to clean our makeup brushes. So there we go. So I just spray it right here with our brush cleaner and wipe it off on a towel. It's clean, all the colors off, but it's dry and it's ready to be used again. So, okay. So the first color to do this um, summer look, you want to grab your all over brush, which is, it's the flat brush. Okay. With the widest head. And I have put all of the colors that are on your card here. So um, the first one I'm going to do is this frozen iris and you go on your lash line up to your crease. So let's see, I'm just going to do one eye. It'll go a little faster and then you can see the difference. So I just put this right on the lid. I'm going from corner to corner and then just kind of windshield wipering it back and forth. Okay. Maybe I better do both eyes. All right, Tina, let me know. Can you see that? Okay. Can y'all see that? Um, hopefully you can. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, what I do like is that the, um, with the dusty rose, let me get them up a little closer. So, and you can tell I've been using the snot out of these colors. This is your dusty rose right here. And then this one is your sunlit rose. They're similar, but because here's the really great thing. So if you're more mature, you have more mature skin, 
Um, a lot of women are like, they don't like the shimmer quite so much. So what I do love about these is if you've got a matte, if you mix matte with these colors, then it's going to tone it down and it's not too much shimmer. So that's what I love about the Dusty Rose. That's the matte one. And I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use the all over brush or excuse me, not all over. What do they call this one? See, you two can sell Mary Kay. This is the eye smudger. And I'm going to go right in my crease. Now, because I have hooded eyes, what this does is this just is going to give me a little bit more definition. And you'll notice I'm not closing my eye because I need to see where I'm putting it because when I open it, it'll disappear if I do it otherwise. And I'm just gonna clean that. I'm, then I'm gonna grab the angle brush. It has a little bit of an angle and I'm gonna dip it in that sunlit or sunlit rose, which is the little bit of a shimmer that's similar. And I'm gonna take it right above that crease, just a little bit above where I put it. And I'm gonna go right over the top. Because if you look at the gallon catalog, it's, um, it's, not, it's a little bit different application. So it's kind of an all over. So I'm kind of let you think of it like going in stair steps with your eyeshadow. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, blending brush that I just cleaned and I'm going to start and do circular motions so that the colors all kind of blend and they fade into the next one. Now this is, and used to, now this is a little bit dark. So we're so glad you're here, Janine. Thanks for joining. Okay, so then I'm going to go back to the all over powder brush that I did the purple with. And if you want it to be darker, ladies, let me just show you a little fun way to do that. You can actually get, um, sometimes you can wet a washcloth. I've got a wet washcloth here by my sink and I'm just tapping my brush on it. And then I'm going to tap, um, get this um, eyeshadow here and I'm just going to pat it and it makes it look more metallic. So if you want it to be stronger, get your bristles a little bit down. Good thing I didn't do both eyes. So can you see the difference in how much more color that is versus this side? And I think I like it better. What do you guys think? So I'm just going to put a little bit more right here. Okay. I really like the inside of my eyes to be brighter than what this looks by itself. And so I'm just cleaning that off again. I'm going to go back and grab the crystalline. And so with the crystalline, Instead of just going this direction, I'm going to actually kind of angle it a little bit. So I'm going to go in this corner right here, and I'm just going to go kind of like at an angle. What that's going to do is pull everything up so it opens my eye a little bit more. And then you can go back and blend just a little bit. So, so that is how you do that particular eye look. Now, for those of you that got the pep sample and there's on the back and the catalog, it uses the um, steely eyeliner. So I'm going to show you how to do the steely eyeliner because in the catalog, it's got a little bit of a cat wing to it. But I'm going to show you how to do that on this side. But then on the other, I'm going to show you how you can use an eyeshadow as an eyeliner as well. So if you're not a big fan of creams, don't worry, we've got you. But I do love these. So, and the Steely is not a color I have used before. So that's, I really appreciate that Mary Kay gives us catalogs every quarter with new looks and stuff in them. So to do a cat eye, let's see, I think you can see me. Okay. So if I, a lot of women, you know, you think it, you would think it would draw this way and then go in, but you actually go straight up and down from the, So if I close my eye a little bit and I go straight up and down, I know it's counterintuitive, right? And then I'm going to go for, so I've got, go straight up from that outside edge and then I'm going to go inside like I'm making a triangle let me see if I can get a little closer and you guys can see this so if you can see I've got the triangle now I'm just going to fill it in and you can make this a little thicker up here if you wanted to but watch what this does when I open my eye and then you, if you're going towards the inside, you always want to go a little bit soft, a little bit, a little more skinnier. I tell you what, guys, if you can do this in a mirror and be videoing at the same time. So there it is. It kind of gives you the little, it looks a little bit more open, but it, without having to draw out so that it pulls the eye up again, because if you go down or you pull your eyeshadows down here, it's going to drag your face down and nobody likes that. 
So this, just doing the cat eye on the outside edge with a little bit of that, and you can make it as tall or as short as you want. But let me show you another fun thing that you can do with that. On the back of your card, there is a cashmere haze um, eyeshadow sample um, because it was just easier to mail um, than the actual eyeliner samples. I'm gonna use the, smud the smudger brush. And I'm gonna actually go right over the top of that, of that color right there. And that's going to set that eyeliner. Now, if I didn't have an eyeliner and I was in a pinch and I needed something, you can do the same thing that I did kind of over here. Only I'm gonna get like wetting the brush. You just get your brush a little bit damp on the bristles. Just get a wet washcloth, rinse it out. And then I'm gonna dip it right into that cashmere haze. And I'm gonna go right above my lashes, like almost where I'm angling right onto. Yes, if you go on samples of these things, let us know. Or, you know, get the colors, guys. Everything in Mary Kay is guaranteed. So if you get something and you don't love it, it doesn't matter if it's an eyeshadow, an eyeliner, a lip liner, lipstick, foundation, skincare, body lotion, you can swap it out for something else or get a refund. So um, sometimes that's just easy and easier. So I don't know if you can see it's a little bit softer on this side. I don't, I, I don't typically do a like a cat eye with this, but I can get a good shade on the color. Okay, so that's how you use eyeshadow as an eyeliner. Another great tool or brush you could use for this is our eyebrow, um, our eyebrow um, eyeliner brush. So there's a, let me see if I can get this up so you can see it. There's actually a, a little angled brush here that you could also get wet and dip that in. That gives you a little bit more control than that other one. So this is a nice other, other option. Okay. So before I move on, I'm going to um, put on one little coat before I do the rest um, of, and this is going to look funny for people who come in a little bit later. They're going to look, why is one of her eyes done and one is not? Also, I just like to point out that um, I had my hair colored today and because it is such a dark color, I also have to do my brows. So I feel like I feel like I look like Groucho Marx right now. We're going to fix that in a minute. <laughs> so um, see, Chrissy says... Oh yeah, the, using eyeshadow for eyeliner is great. It's it is it is much easier, um, especially in sensitive eyes. But you know, Christy, I don't know if you've used that before, but um, make sure. Hi Pam, make sure that you get it a little damp, and then that way it doesn't have fallout. But that is one of the things I love about the Mary Kay eyeshadows and cheek colors is there's not a lot of fallout because of our Chroma Fusion technology. It's even like the least amount of fallout of all of the brands out there. So anyway, okay, so let me just show you, I'm just actually going to, before I do the rest, I'm just gonna do one coat. Now, if you want like, you know, stand back, she's gonna blink lashes, you cannot just do one coat of mascara. It don't matter the brand, it don't matter the kind, you gotta do more than one coat. So this is just one coat and I'm actually gonna do both lashes because then I'll only do, I'll do more coats on this one and not the other one so you can see the difference. Um, but I'm just gonna do one little coat on the top lashes. I'm not gonna worry about the bottom yet. Let's see how am I doing on time. Okay, good. All right, so, all right, so now that my eyeshadow and stuff is on, now I'm gonna do my foundation. So, okay guys, so makeup can fix a lot of things. The thing it can't fix is texture. So if you want really good texture, then you need a good skincare routine. Um, but makeup can pretty much do everything else. So what I'm using is my shade. I love the matte foundation um, because it covers really well. I do CrossFit in a gym. They call them boxes. And the reason they call them boxes is because they don't AC them. It's terrible. I hate it. So, um, but other thing, the other thing you need to know about foundation is if you don't want to feel cakey or licked on, you always want to put it on with a brush. So I always start at the center and then I'm just going to do circular motions and work myself to the outside edges of my face. And then I can go underneath my eye here and get the rest. And it just gives that flawless look. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, some of the, some of the uh, hiccups with doing business on your phone. <laughs> so, but I just love the foundation because it's real lightweight. It absorbs excess oil. So if you start to get shiny in the summer, it's great. Here's another tip. If your lipstick changes color, 
because your your lips are a, a shade, we'll put foundation over them. I just like to do the edges of my lips. So you just put a little foundation over those colors. Okay. And I did notice here, um, one of my favorite tips that I learned from a makeup artist was that when you have, um, uh, these are my stress pimples. Um, I have a 31 year old. So he's the reason I dye my hair and he's the reason I have stress pimples. I love him, but I want to kill him. Anybody have kids like that sometimes? Um, so I'm just going to actually pat a little bit more of my foundation over those because here's the thing about concealer. The reason I like to use it on my eyelids is because it grabs things. If I use it on these parts of my face and then I put, or if it's on my cheeks or something, and then I put that can, I put blush and foundation and stuff over it, it's drier and it grabs color. So it will actually bring more attention to it, which is why if you just put a little bit extra layer of foundation on those spots, um, then that will help, especially with the foundation primer underneath it. Okay, so the other things in this look is um, they are using, this is the Copper Glow cheek color. And then they're also using the, um, this is the, I think it's the Honey Glow, Honey Glaze of the, um, the highlighter. So let me show you how to use one of those. And you want to use our foundation, our cheek contour brush. You'll notice it has like, it's got a couple different angles. Well, hang on, how do I just show that to you? It's got angles, like it's longer, it's shorter on this side and it's longer on the top side. So what I'm gonna use is this short side because it kind of has a little edge there. I'm gonna use a short side to do the contour. So contouring um, your face does not have to be difficult. So if you've seen some of those YouTube videos where they're like got five different colors of foundation on their face and then they're blending forever, um, no thank you. That feels way too heavy, it looks too cakey. And quite honestly, it's not very professional looking. So um, you'll notice I haven't put powder on, but I'm going to shape my face. Now, I am just going to do one side so you can see the difference that the contour will make. But again, I'm going to um, get a little bit of um, just a little bit of that cheek color. And I'm just going to kind of put it right here and then a little bit right there. And then give me a second. I'm going to blend it in. You can also take and use a little bit up here. If you, you know, if you were to draw an imaginary oval on the mirror, you just shade the things outside that oval. Okay, so I've got it there. And then I'm going to use my powder brush to blend it in. So it's even softer. Okay. And the reason I put it here is because I'm also going to wear it as bronzer. Ha, right. I love multiple uses for the same product. So I've used it there. Now, if you feel like you have like jowls a little bit, you can take and just touch a little bit underneath that and go under the chin and that will thin that area out as well. Then what I'm gonna do is really simple. I'm just gonna grab the highlight powder and I'm gonna grab it right on the base of, um, right on the butt end of the brush and I'm gonna ride over that. I'm actually gonna blend them. Because this, again, remembers a, a summer kind of sun kiss glow look. Ta-da! Okay. Another thing, if you don't like the sides of your nose, put a little stripe of the contour right down the edges of your nose and blend it in. And sometimes when I do that, I like to use that all-over blending brush. So let me show you what that's like. Again, I'm just barely touching the cheek color. And then I'm just going to go right down the side of my nose. And I'll just do both sides because you won't be able to tell otherwise. Okay. Now here's the thing. I got to tell you guys this. Okay. You might be, if you're watching me and you're like, oh, good Lord, I could never do all that. When I started Mary Kay 24 years ago, I knew how to put on mascara barely because, you know, there was a strong possibility I was going to smack myself in the eye with it. And I always did. Sometimes I still do. I knew racing striped cheek colors and this really pale lip gloss that probably made me look dead. And that was how I started my business, Mary Kay. I didn't know any of this stuff and I learned it as I went. And so one of the things I have enjoyed is trying to find really quick, easy ways that you can do these wonderful color looks without it taking really long. But the key guys is brushes. It's brushes and blending. You put it in the spots and then you blend. That's it. It's that simple. Okay. We have another fun little thing that I just want to show you on this other sheet before I do, um, before I do powder all over. And that is these, these are our fun cream eyeshadow 
um, or excuse me, cream lip and cheek colors. And I love these. Okay. So I have tried all the colors and I love them. I'm like a light beige, dark ivory skin tone, but none of these have looked bad. So um, just to kind of go with what we got over here, I'm going to use the must have mauve. And I just want to show you how easy it is to do a cheek color this way. Um, because it's a cream, I'm just patting it up with my finger. And um, if you were on the uh, virtual, the um, spring sneak peek that you saw earlier, then you saw this already. And then I'm just going to use my foundation brush just to blend it around and take off any excess. I can also take this and put it right on my lips and I'll do that in a minute, but I want to show you some of my other little experiences in that. Okay. So then the next thing I do, so I've got my cheek color, I've got my bronzer, my highlighter, all that stuff is on, on this side of my face. Um, and now I want to use my powder. Now, if you have not used, I'm going to seal everything with this. If you have not used our silky setting powder, girl, you are missing out because this stuff is like a camera filter in a, in a jar. It's a camera filter in a jar and you just wear it around all day long. You know, you, you know, you ever wish that some people could look at you like, could you just look at me through your camera filter? Could you just, just camera filter me? Yeah. Then you can do it with powder and you don't have to walk around with foam. Not that we went any, anyway, right? I tried to leave the gym the other day and I got like towards the end of the parking lot and I realized my car hadn't connected to my phone. And I realized I basically left my third arm in the gym. Isn't it funny how we cannot be without our electronics? Okay. So I got just a little bit. I swirl it in the lid. And then I'm going to dust down on my face. And then on my forehead, I like to press and roll. I tend to get a little shiny on my forehead. So pressing and rolling keeps it from looking cakey. I don't know if you can tell a difference there, but it, this is just really soft focused versus this is a little bit more, it's still a little wet looking. So that is how I do that. Okay, now here's the secret weapon. Are you guys ready? Does Mary Kay have a lip brush? Oh, we do. Okay, good question, Dina. This this is our, it's called our, um, it's our cream eyeshadow. They call it, it's like the cream color. So you could use this for eyeshadows, our cream eyeshadows. You can use it for concealers. You can use it under eye corrector and you can use it for lips. If you want something with a little bit more like controlled precise, then I would recommend the, um, this is the eyebrow eyeliner brush. So it's got the spoolie at the top. I'm going to use this in a second. So you'll see more of it. And then it's got this really fine tip on the bottom. That's really skinny. And that's really great for lips too. Um, so good question. Glad I caught it. All right. So now that I've got my base coat on, let me show you a couple other quick things that I do. Um, and there's a couple other fun products because when I, I was telling you earlier, when I go work out in the gym, my makeup stays just like this, but it's on uh, my secret weapons are foundation primer and finishing spray. So I just do, if you just do a teeth on your face and then like an X and what this does is it makes the foundation stay on or makes every, all the colors and stuff stay on. It also does a dual thing for me. Now that I've got all of my makeup on, I can do my brows. So this is when I would take the spoolie brush and I'm going to brush my eyebrows because I want to brush out all the excess um, powder or anything that's gotten in there from my eyes. And then I'm going to use, if you want your brows to be defined, you want to use your brow pencil and you want one that's going to either be a shade lighter or a shade darker than your hair. Ideally, I like to mix them because I like to use the brow pencil, but I also use the brow tint and I'll show you that in a second. The tint is almost kind of like fiber. So it makes your brows look thicker, um, but also tames them. So if you've got hairs that kind of like to go wonky on you, it's great for that. So here's the best, easiest way to do your brows. If you've got hair, you're just going to start, don't start right on the inside of your hair, start above it a little bit before the inside. And then you're going to go just kind of outline your brow. And see, this is how I am going to make up. I'm going to define my brows again until I wait for that extra dye that's on my skin to come off from coloring my hair today. <laughs> so, um, and then I'm going to go underneath and do the same thing. And I'm, I'm following the hairline so that I give it more of that. And then I can do a little bit of drawing on the inside here that I'm just going to fill in. And I'm just doing short sweeping strokes. These are very creamy. So it doesn't take a lot. And then I'm just going to take, and then I'm just going to brush that in a little bit so that it looks natural and it looks like my brows. So that's brow liner. A brow liner is used to define and outline your brows. Um, and then brow 
tint gives you a little extra color. So if you've got like white hair, um, we have a really pretty blonde that would look great. It's going to be just dark enough to make, or if you've got really, really blonde hair, like your platinum blonde almost, and you, your eyebrows don't show up because brows, um, good question, Paula. I am I actually used, because I have dyed my hair black, I am using the black brown in the pencil and I'm actually using the dark brunette in the tint. So it gives me some variation. If you notice, most of us, our hair isn't one solid color, right? So if I, when I do the, the tint, I'm not gonna start right on the front of my brows again because that's where all the color ends up the most. You're welcome, Paula. Um, I'm gonna start a little bit past that and I'm just gonna brush that in. So this is actually gonna make my hair look thicker, which is good because I'm at that age where stuff falls out. <laughs> and so um, you can also just wear, you know, um, actually for a couple days, I would actually be able to get away with just putting the brow tint in. So I'm just going to put that one over here just so you can see. So if you feel like you love your color, but you just want a little bit of control and a little thicker, then um, there we go. So I love it always. <laughs> so those are how I do my Now, when I put the tint in, I let it dry for just a second before I mess with it some more. And then um, and then I will do that. So now, now I'm going to go back and finish my mascara. Now, I did one coat of the Ultimate on these lashes, and I'm going to leave those alone. I didn't put anything on the bottom, but I'm going to show you what I do to get my lashes to be kind of like boom, boom. Um, I layer my lashes. I layer my mascara. And so I have a couple of different favorite combinations. I always start with the Ultimate because I love that thickness at the bottom of the lashes. Ultimate is meant to volumize. And then we have another favorite if I don't want, like I'm going out, like I don't want the stand back, she's going to blink volume that I will use, but I want like really good lashes that almost look fake, um, like naturally fake. Is that a thing? Um, then I'm going to use the, um, la the Lash Love Fanorama. I love this Fanorama. The brush is fantastic. It actually um, it has a couple different angles. So it, it whoops this way. It has little tips on the end and it has a straight side. So I'm just going to come up here a little bit closer and I'm going to do a second coat on my upper lashes with this. So, um, but I like it because then I get that, I get that volume, but I also get that definition, that separation, that fanning out. I get all the things, right? And here's another little tip. Oh guys, did you notice? I, I got myself again. <laughs> Not much has changed in 24 years. Um, and you can jiggle it back a little bit, roll the brush around and get some really good like definition on your lashes. I love, like if you have hooded lashes, the longer they are on the outside, the better. Um, it kind of deters from the hood. And so that's what I do for my top lashes. Now, if you get a little bit, like I've gotten a little bit up top, I just grab a Q-tip and I'm gonna let it sit for a second. I don't like go after it right away. And then I take my little Q-tip and I just kind of lift it right off so it doesn't disturb my eyeshadow that much. Now, I could do another coat if I wanted to on the top and the bottom with the Fanorama, but I also love waterproof because in Utah, when the wind blows, my eye likes the water. <laughs> it looks like I'm crying and it's usually this one. And so I like if I can make any mascara that we carry waterproof by just putting Lash Love waterproof over the top. So that's what I do on my bottoms. Now I only do one coat on the bottom of my lashes because I don't need them to be spidery looking. That's not trendy, but I will do, and then I'll do one more coat over the top of the other two. And now everything's waterproof. I could go swimming. I can sweat buckets if I need to. Not that I want to, I don't sweat, I glisten, right? That's what we do as ladies, we glisten. And that just gives me another layer. So can you see the difference between that doing one coat and doing two or three coats? Um, always on the top, two or three coats. So that's what I did. And if you're going to like curl your lashes, of course, curl them before you put on your um, mascara. If you're doing like the wrong one. Okay, so now the look in the book comes with it, the look she's wearing, the lipstick she's wearing is called Blush Velvet. And this is it. Um, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to wipe it off because I don't like it. <laughs> don't you love that, guys? <laughs> it's a beautiful color. It's just not a good color on me. 
but I'm going to put it on so you can see it. Now I could just do it just like this out of the tube and be done because I've got a pretty bold, like a, a good color look. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Okay. But, um, but I want to show you a couple other options that you can do with this. So if you like wearing the lipstick or maybe you just wanted something with a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to go back to the cheek and the lip palettes and I'm going to use, this is the peach one. And if I put that right over the top, it makes it a little softer and you can use your finger with that. Um, but here's another fun thing that I like to do. And this is a tip that I think if you um, want like your lipstick to be defined and you want it to stay on all day, then you're really going to want to listen to this tip. Let me just wipe this off. So here's the deal. What if, now back in the day, we always, we never wore lipstick without lip liner. And then we kind of got away from it. And then everybody was like, bye, my lipstick doesn't stay on. Your lipstick doesn't stay on because you're not wearing lip liner. If you wear lip liner, it'll stay on longer. And of course, if you're using the new liquid matte lip colors, those suckers don't come off, which is fabulous. Like, but they don't dry your lips out. The color just stays on really well. So if you want one lip liner to go with every shade, it doesn't matter if you're wearing red lipstick, brown lipstick, nude, pink, hot pink. I mean, any color, purple, one lip liner to rule them all. So if you are an ivory skin tone, then you want to use our light nude. If you are beige skin tone, you want medium nude. That's what I've got on. And I'm not a brown girl, but so these are neutral. They're nude. They're meant to match your lips. But what I love about lip liner is it's going to actually define your lips and that cupid bow. And it also keeps your lipstick from bleeding and feathering. So it doesn't kind of like, you know, want to do this all day long. If you're wearing a dark shade, it ends up in the cracks. So to keep that from happening, lip liner is your best friend. So I remember earlier, I've already got that um, lip balm in there. So my lips are good and moist. They're going to hold the lipstick really well without looking crumbly. So I'm just going to do my Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to go down to the sides. Now, I don't, I don't do like the inside corner. I just, you know, and then you start in the middle and then connect the lines. I also have a lot of scar tissue right here on my lip that goes into my lips. So this gives me the opportunity to take that um, and redefine my lip. Oh, I'm so glad you like those. Aren't those fun? Okay. So again, if you are an ivory skin tone, then you want to use the light nude lip liner. If you are a beige skin tone, you want to use medium nude. And if you are a bronze skin tone, then you want to use the deep nude lip liner. Um, and then I'm just going to show y'all something fun that I had fun with. And I'm actually going to use the lip brush on the end of the eyebrow brush to do this. I'm going to use this one right here because I think it looks fun with this. Right. And it's something that we probably wouldn't like, or at least me, I probably wouldn't pick that all the time. Now you can use your fingers too, guys, but if you feel, if you feel like you're like me, sometimes I'm like, Oh, I have fat thumbs. And I get it outside the lines, then this end of the eyebrow eyeliner brush is great for that. And you can use a little bit of uh it's like if you like using it for your eyeshadow too, just wash it. Wash it in between a little bit of hand soap or dawn dish soap. Ta-da! Now, if I um another fun thing, because since we're talking about lips, guys, we're almost done. Um, another fun thing is I can take again, I can go back and grab. I'm just going to go back and grab a little bit of that peach color and I'm just going to pop it right in the center of my lips and then rub it in. So it gives me a little bit more of a pouty look in the middle. So you can put a lighter color right in the center, put a lip gloss over the top of it. Um, so have fun with the lip color, pick something that seems fun to you or that is like, you know, right up your alley. Um, so I was really excited about these colors. I've had a lot of fun wearing them. Um, another thing that I found is interesting, and I don't know if you guys can see the difference here. So here's the half that I did, and here's the half that's not really done. Wait, yes. <laughs> um, but you have a couple of different options, and I want to tell you a little bit. Um, just we can't leave you without telling you just a little bit. So we are in the process of finishing up our 60th anniversary and Mary Kay, and they have challenged us to share with people. And so I just want to take like two minutes of your time. And I just want to tell you 
a little bit about how Mary Kay has blessed my life because it has been such a blessing. I feel like it's only fair to tell you about it because you may know somebody that might need what, what I have in Mary Kay and I would, it would not, it would be selfish of me not to share. So there's a couple of things, really great reasons that women choose to do what we do in Mary Kay. I mean, hopefully you've kind of got that you're enjoying the, the learning all the fun new colors and stuff like that. And so um, we love to play, we love to get together and we love to have fun. Um, but there are some really popular reasons that women choose to do Mary Kay. And I'm going to tell you a couple of these and maybe they'll put, um, spur some questions that you could ask your consultant. Even if you're not interested in Mary Kay, we have a really great coupon club or there's a cash drawing that you get. It depends on who your consultant is. Um, that if you ask her a few questions about what she does, it doesn't mean that you want to sign up. It just means you're curious. And um, we need really great um cheerleaders in Mary Kay right now because we are coming up to what we call like our Super Bowl time and that is June so as we're wrapping up our um, calendar year so one of the there's like five really quick reasons that women choose to join Mary Kay and do what we do one is the money everybody likes to make money right I don't know anybody it's all cashed up and we make our money in two ways we make them by selling the product and we also make them by make it by sharing the opportunity so you can make up to 50 percent with you, well, you make 50% with your sales and you make four to 26% um, when you build a team. And that really great thing is that commission comes from Mary Kay's pocket. What I love is that um, you have lots of ways you can do this business. We sell the products online. We sell them in the catalogs. We sell them face to face and we do things virtually. And so you really can have it all. And there's like a do a combination of any of those things. Um, and sometimes you can switch back and forth between other ones. So that's always nice to have those options. One of the things and how it's helped me is it allowed me to be a stay at home mom. And I was single when my son was really little and um, between my sales and my commissions, my highest commission check in one month in Mary Kay has been in excess of eight thousand um, dollars. And I just tell you, I love the freedom and the flexibility. The second thing that women love is the recognition. Oh, my gosh. When's the last time somebody patted you on the back? Like, you know, I used to be like so mad. I would just spend I'd cook all the food, come home, clean everything. Did my kids ever stand on the chair and go, mom, you are the awesomest, most wonderful person in the world. Thank you for everything. No, no, they did not. And so <laughs> they should, right? They should. Your kids should totally do that. Every time they have clean laundry and, and um, toilet paper on the hanger in the bathroom, come on, they should be like giving you an award. So, <laughs> but we get prizes and we get recognition and we get them weekly. We get them quarterly, we get them monthly, we get them yearly. And they're, th I mean, if you can dream it or think about it, chances are Mary Kay will give it to you. So um, from exercise equipment to home improvement um, items to decorations for your home, lamps, frames, um, tables, furniture, um, oh my gosh, trips, diamonds, cars. I mean, you name it, we can get it. We're pretty spoiled, right, Tina? Um, the second thing, or the third thing is self-esteem and personal growth. Guys, um, 24 years ago when I started, this would have terrified me to do something like this. And um, so it has really, truly been the best self-improvement course I've ever been paid to take. But prior to Mary Kay, I was a network engineer. If you've met anybody that's a super computer nerdy, you know they probably don't have the best people skills and we're a little shy. That's why we're good with computers and not people. And so Mary Kay has really helped me grow and um, what I love is it, it helped me expand my comfort zone. And when I was able to expand my comfort zone and learn the skills that I just shared with you tonight, um, when I feel pretty on the outside, I, the pretty on the inside just shows through. The confidence just bursts through. And I love that we get to do that and share that and help other women have that, whether it's through our opportunity or our products. The fourth thing that re reason people join Mary Kay is because they don't like having a car payment. And if you don't have a car payment, chances are you have a car repair payment, right? And so they're not all pink ladies. If you didn't know that we have three different car options in Mary Kay. And if you don't want the car, you can take the cash instead. I will tell you, I have earned over, I've taken delivery of over eight, I think it's either eight or nine cars. Isn't it lovely when you've been in so long and you get so many that you don't remember how many you've had. Now my beautiful friend, Tina, she drives a pink Cadillac. That's what I'm working on earning. I love riding in her pink Cadillac and it has never lost its new car smell. Just, just so you know. Um, I drive the Chevy Malibu, but if Tina and I didn't want to take the cars, we could take the cash and it's 425 to 900 a month in cash compensation, depending on which car you have. So I don't know, maybe you could go on a vacation every other month, right? With $900 cash. Um, and then lastly is advantages and advancements. If you've ever worked for someone else and you work really hard for a year, right? And then you go in for that review with your boss and you're thinking he's going to give me a raise this year. 
and dadgummit, they don't. And they always, for me, I always felt like they found, they would, they would find reasons not to give me a raise. Or if they did, it was a quarter an hour. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and so, and I never knew what to expect. And so what I love is that Mary Kay lays it all out for you. You want to get from point A to point B, you know, all the steps in between and you can go as fast as you want or you can go as turtly as you want. But it is totally up to you. You advance at your own pace. You have your own freedom and flexibility. We don't have territories, in Mary Kay. So you can work and, and or live anywhere in the U.S. that you want. And um, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I am a freedom and flexibility kind of girl. And I like to like set my own paycheck. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> and so um you have two options in Mary Kay to get started. We have, um, there's only one requirement and it's the purchase of a starter kit, ladies. And you can do it, you can get in as for as little as $30. Now, if you have two kids and you take them to McDonald's, let's be honest, between yourself and two kids, you can't even get out of McDonald's for 30 bucks. So it's only $30 to get started in Mary Kay. If you're interested, ask your beauty consultant some questions. That brings us towards the close. And I wanna tell you about some specials that we have for you um, because we really appreciate you being here. Thank you for letting us share with you our love of the products and our love for our company. Um, we're going to do a couple of drawings, and I know you want entries into these drawings, right? So let me tell you steals and deals for the night. You're going to get a text message in like probably two minutes or so, or just a couple minutes after this is over, that um, with the copy of this, and it'll get posted in your Facebook group. So this is actually our set special. And you have all these fun sets and these different color options. So there's one in here just for an example. You'll get to be able to, you know, pinch and zoom in and stuff. But for example, one of them is the, you know, um, petite eyes. If you just want the eyeshadow stuff, then you can get that and put it in a compact that's refillable. And that set with an eye with an um, eye primer to keep it all on. And that set's going to be 54. Or you could do the whole shindig, right? You could do the compact with all of the things in it. And they call it an essential glamour set and it also will get you your eyeliner and your lip liner and a lipstick of your choice and that's around 102. So here's the but you can mix and match your sets do whatever. When you purchase two sets we call that the princess and with the princess when you do any two sets that you want you get an additional one for 25% off. If you do four sets you're going to receive another set for fifth set for 25% off and you're going to get a free roll it back. Okay. I have to model this just one second. Cause if you don't have one of these, how many of you have one of these already? You know what I'm talking about? Have you seen this hot mama? Oh my gosh. I love this thing. Check it out. Check it out. It swivels. Shut the front door. So no more counter clutter. It's got a hanger. It's great for travel. Anybody going anywhere for the summer? Um, and it has a sort of a pop. Here's the best part. Look, all the pockets Velcro on and off. Oh, so I love this bag. And, 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 as you can tell, I have a lot of product in here. And so, um, and it folds up. It's got like this super duper um, strong Velcros. Look at that, guys. I'm okay, Now, I don't have big hands, but look. I mean, the sucker doesn't take up that much room in your suitcase when you're on a plane, right? So I love this. You can, no more bathroom counter clutter. Um, and if you have a makeup explosion, they may have one of those. Oh, I hate those. Um, but if you ever have a makeup explosion in one of these bags, open the zipper, pop it on the top um, rack of your dishwasher, and ta-da, it's dishwasher safe. So I love that. You'll also get that travel roll-up bag when you do the um, queen set, which is four sets. You get the travel roll-up bag for free, and you get an additional set at 25% off. Or if four sets doesn't cover it all for you, then go Cadillac, girl. Go big or go home, right? we got a Texas mentality here. Oh, I love it. Colleen loves her bag, right? So um, you can five sets, you get five sets and you receive two sets at 25% off and a, a travel roll-up bag. And ladies, if the sets that you want are not on this flyer, we all have a Burger King philosophy. You can have it your way. We'll let you have it your way. Okay, so we're also going to be doing some drawings. Who loves free stuff? I love free stuff. Okay, so free stuff tonight, ladies. We're going to be doing a couple of drawings. So a couple of you are going to win our fabulous, and, and in honor of like, because we're all getting ready to go on vacations, right? I can't believe Memorial Day is like a week away. So, um, but hand sanitizer. You can't go anywhere on vacation without hand sanitizers, because if you have to stop, if you're driving somewhere and you have to stop at a public restroom, ew, right? So, um, um, or just in general, going to the beach anywhere, hand sanitizer, clean your hands off. Or if you're at the pool, clean your hands off before you eat your snacks. So we're going to give away hand sanitizer, but we're also going to be giving away to one lucky person um, a travel skincare set. So you can do the Miracle set, 3D set, or we can uh, accommodate you with the 
repair travel set. We also have a um, clear proof travel set. So if you win that, you get to pick your travel set. So how do you get entries into those drawings? Here's the deal. Okay. One entry for filling out the form. You're going to get a text message with a Google form. We would love your opinion and what you enjoyed about this event. And you'll need to turn in a secret word to get an extra, your extra special gift for being here. So one is fill out the form. You get one entry for that. If you want to schedule your own Facebook live party or for face to face party or one on one appointment, whatever you want to schedule. But if you want to get together with a couple of girlfriends and get some free things, you get 10 entries when you schedule that. 15, if you want to do a Mary Kay Q&A, that's where I was telling you, ask, you get 15 entries for scheduling a time with your beauty consultant just to ask her a few questions about what she does. She would love to have you as her biggest cheerleader, um, if not her, her fa most favorite team member. And here's the deal, guys. It's a win-win for us. We just love sharing with you because you never know who you know. And sometimes we might need a plan B. Um, and so you get 15 points for that and you get five entries for every $10 that you order. Okay. Your secret word is aloha. It's aloha. And you have until Friday to get your, um, to get your appointment scheduled or get your Q and a scheduled or get your order into your consultant. We know Fridays tend to be paydays. So we want to give you plenty of time for that. So you have until Friday, we will post our winners in the Facebook groups. So, and, and of course we'll contact you as well. So we're looking forward to um, hearing from you and getting your feedback. Ladies, thank you so, so much. If you loved it, let us know so that we'll continue to do some of these fun events for you um, in the future. Take care and have a great night. Bye-bye.